Ja, jag ser inte när jag har haft mitt time is clicking down so fast, I tell you. I'm so proud to be here this morning. You don't know how much I appreciate Brother Jay inviting me to come up here. And, and, you know, I've been trying to get here for three years. You know, they say third time's a charm. I thought if I couldn't get here the third time, the fourth time, they wouldn't believe me if I was coming or not, you know, so I'm here anyway. I'm so glad, and I, I tell you what, that banquet blowed me away. I've never seen so many people get fed so fast, you know. <laughs> I, I must tell on myself, I walked out of my shoe. I, I, I got halfway down to the to where the food was, and I found out I didn't have my shoe on. <laughs> But anyway, I'm so proud to be here this morning. My name, for the some of y'all that don't know, is Jimmy Huff. I'm a, I'm a volunteer chaplain for TDC. TDC means Texas Department of Corrections. Uh, I, I serve as five prisons, a total of 102,000 prisoners in those five prisons. And... They love getting missionary press books. They, they fill their pockets full up with them. I'm going to send this to mom. I'm going to send this to my grandma. I'm going to send this to so-and-so. I'm going to send them here. I'm going to send them there. And, you know, they walk away with a lot of books in their pockets. And, you know, some is mostly Spanish books, mostly uh, uh, Texas is getting to where there's 67% Hispanic now. And so you got to know how to poquito español, you know, you got poquito, you know, you got to know how to talk a little Spanish, you know. Mm -hmm. So I would not, I will not try to use my language up here today, but, <laughs> uh, you know, uh, I, I just want to say that over the 17 and a half years, I've given away missionary press books. I must tell you of some of the locations that I, I, I got books in other than the prison. David Stubblefield, he is a rancher, farmer, store owner. He came to me one time, he said, he did take this whole side of my store and put the books in. And so I put many, many books in there. And on this side of his store, he's got the Greyhound bus station has rented a space for the Greyhound buses to come in. And there's eight Greyhound buses a day. And it keeps me humping just to keep the books <laughs> on the shelves. I, I mean, I got a letter from Redland, California, said I got a book while I was going through your town. I got one for Com from Kimono, Com I don't know if I pronounced it, Kimono, Washington, that said that she, she got a book while going through the store. And, you know, right under the Missionary Press uh, address, I stamped my address on the book, you know. I hope you don't mind. You know. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway... I get letters all the time, you know. I, I I hope you do, you know, from prisoners saying thank you for the books and you know. And I want to thank y'all for the books, you know. I I tell you, I have no idea in my mind how many have been given away, but I've been told there's at least a, up to a, a million books. I don't know, but you know, it's not up to me to count. You know, that's up to, to God and up, to, you know, to the Holy Spirit. Yes. And you know what? I am just a servant. Amen. And sometimes I feel a poor servant. But, you know, I, I do my best. And I go to Mexico <laughs> twice a year. And when I go to Mexico, I take 20 or 30 boxes of missionary press Spanish booklets with me and and every one of them's gone by the time I get back. And, and so I know it's going into Mexico from my end. And I know that they order straight from here, too. So I know they're coming from here, too. So I know Missionary Press is covering Mexico. 
And I know it's going into Venezuela because I have a friend that goes to Venezuela once a year. And I know it's going into Brazil because I order the uh, Portuguese books from from Missionary Press for him to carry into to Brazil. And you know, how am I doing? <laughs> I, 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 get, I get talking, I get excited, and sometimes, I don't know when to quit, but you know, I, I don't want to take anybody else's uh, uh, precious time up. You know, time, time is precious. Mm -hmm. Even in, when you're working in prison, time is precious. And our time is coming to an end. I don't know if you know this, Jesus is coming back. Amen. And we got to work while it's daylight. We got to work while it's daytime. You know, when it's not, when nighttime comes, you cannot work. And so we got to work while it's day, you know. And, and you know, the Bible says our, our salvation is nearer today than it was from the beginning. It's nearer to today. I'm not going to try to preach, Jay, but, you know, I get excited. And I got to tell you this. David Stubblefield became my president of my prison board through one of your books. He got one of them books off of his shelves and read it. He called me into his office and said, I got to be part of this ministry. And so, Brother, Brother Jay, I don't know how much they, they sent you, but I have $100 here from David Stubblefield to give you today. And so I got, I, I got, I got it here and he's one. That is from David Stubblefield, and his business is called Gas and Grub. If you, if you eat the grub, you get the gas. <laughs> and so, so that, that's his business, Gas and Grub. And, you know, uh, this is the way I keep, like to keep my audience laughing. You know, even when I'm preaching, I like them laughing, so I make jokes. But anyway, I want to tell you how much I appreciate you, Jay. I want to tell you how much I appreciate World Missionary Press. I want to tell you how much the prisoners appreciate you. And I want to tell you how much the people around Colorado City, Texas, I've got people that stand on the street corner during the trade show days passing out your booklets. We have a, three times a year we have what we call trade show days where over 100,000 people comes into Colorado City. It's like a world's greatest flea market, you know. <laughs> and, and there's hundreds and hundreds of booths and people come. Well, I have people that passes out World Missionary Press booklets during that time. And so... You see, I, I invent ways to give away the books. You know, I sit and I put a pity figure because if these are the greatest, greatest ministry books that you can get in your hands. I'm telling you, it's the greatest. It's full of nothing but the Bible. It, oh, it's man. from cover to cover. It's nothing but Scripture. And, and I cannot get enough of them sometimes. And sometimes mail is too short, Helen. <laughs> I, I, I wish I had enough room, like I told Dale, I wish I had enough room to get a whole truckload at one time, you know. But I don't have the storage space. And so I have to order through by mail, and sometimes I get it by stale mail. You know what stale mail is? It, that's like you order one month and you get it two months later, you know. And so, but yes, I, I want to tell you about about what World Missionary Press, what it means in my ministry and to the lives of the prisoners and to the lives of I don't know how far the Greyhound buses go, New York, uh, Washington, California, where, wherever they go. They stop there at Gas and Grub. They go north, they go south, they go east, they go west. And so they clean out the store every time they come in. I had to put in books nearly daily. 
So I don't know where the books end up, Jay. It could be in, in New Mexico, Idaho, wherever. But it is time we get the word out. And I know, but I've seen the, the videos uh, Saturday night. I listened to the speaker. My heart just pumped. You'd never heard my heart pumping so hard. You know, about how the missionary press books is going out into the country, especially uh, the uh, missionary back here that been shot at and stabbed and, and bombed. And st I, I hadn't gone through that, but I feel like it sometimes. <laughs> but I hadn't, and, you know. But, you know, we don't know. We got, you know, we go into our own world. You know, our own world can be our, the block we live in. It's, it don't have to be England or France or Venezuela or, or Africa or Angola, or, you know. It, it can be the, the, the block that you live in. You know, I want an 89-year-old lady to the Lord through the way to God, and she lived on the same block I did for, for all of her life. And she said she'd never heard of stuff like that. Mm -hmm. 89 years old. But she gave her life to the Lord mm -hmm. through the way to God. Mm -hmm. And you know, I am 100% for all of the books, not just one. I've seen all of them work. The only one I don't use much is a win of... We know with Zion, is that it? I, I, I don't use that much because we don't, we're not around any, many Jews, you know. Excuse me if there's any Jewish people here, I don't mean <laughs> any, any disrespect. But we are mostly Hispanic. We have also African American. We, we have English. The reason I did that back that away is that's the way that it's, it, the, the population is. It's Spanish, then black American, then the English is the minority. I mean, you know, it's just the way it's doing in Texas. And I'll tell you what, I thank my God that I had the opportunity to come. I want to thank Dale for putting up with me this weekend. He had a headache. <laughs> and it, and I think, no, Dale, I was going to tell a lie, but I'm not going to. <laughs> I, I went to step on his porch last night, and I fell backwards. I was going to say that he pushed me because he, <laughs> but, uh, I, I, I'm not going to tell that, you know. But anyway, no, I did have an accident, and I'm a little sore this morning. I, when he got 340 pounds hitting the ground, it, it bounces a little bit. <laughs> and so, uh, I just want to thank you, Jay. It says, is this the right time? Four minutes and 26 seconds left. All right, I got another story to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I went to Angola, Louisiana. I went to Angola, Louisiana, which is one of the worst prisons in, in, in the southern part of the United States. And I went to the warden and I asked him if I can bring in some uh, scripture booklets and he said, let me see what kind they are. And I, I gave him about five different of the World Missionary Press booklets and he looked at them and he said, well, these are all little, little Bibles. I said, yeah, there, you could call them Bibles if you want to. And he said, oh yeah, you can give them out to everybody you want to. And I said, how about you? <laughs> so I, I, left that, I left that package with, with him. And when I left that afternoon at 5 o'clock, I was called into his office, and he says, he was tears rolling out of his eyes. And he gave his life to the Lord. <laughs> this, this, is the, this is the warden of Angola, Louisiana. And I've been back five times, and he always said, you better bring missionary press books with you. And so that's what I do. And that's how 
I guess I give away a million or something, but I don't know. I don't. I never kept count. It's not up to me to count. I'm counting this down. But, uh, uh, you know. And I want to tell you about a young man that it goes to my church. His name is Juan. He's a Hispanic boy. He's 15 years old. Every Saturday morning, he comes by my house, and he fills a, a side pack full of missionary press books and, and carries them. And, and he goes out walking and talking to people, 15 years old, giving away the missionary press Bible, little books. And, and you know, he, he, is, he does that every Saturday. Mm -hmm. And, and it, 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 God, God is using people. And you know what? I don't give away much any other my, any other material now that other than missionary prayers, you know, because I believe in them. Amen. I've read them, and they're truth. They are truth from cover to cover. And I want to tell you, folks, I wouldn't have another kind of a book in my house, to, you know. I put them in every letter I write, and I write to 780 prisoners worldwide, not only in the United States, but in Africa, uh, South America, uh, Australia, uh, Philippines, Japan, and wh wherever the mail goes, there's one book that goes in each one of those letters that goes out, you know? And I want to tell you, folks, they re get people's thinking. They get people searching their souls. And, oh, man. And so, anyway, I, w I just want to say thank you. And I want to say that I, I need your prayers. I need your prayers because that's where God works, Satan works. You know that? And there's people saying that these little booklets are satanic there. And they are fighting, you know. Where God works, Satan works. Remember that. Don't get di discouraged when Satan gets you in the face say, get away from here. Go back and jump in the Pacific Ocean. You know, that's what I tell them. Go jump in the deepest part of the Pacific Ocean and stay there. But I am confronted not one day a week, but seven days a week, of people uh, I, that do not want me operating in Colorado City, Texas. But God has got me there. He born me there. He raised me there. And I'm going to die there. Thank you. My time is up.